Harry's runaway success may prove to be a silver lining for Wall Street. It's been a pretty volatile year with U.S. stocks barely in the green. And investors have been burned, whether it be in commodities or tech. But one alternative investment is proving to be resilient to any slowdown. Michelle McCory takes it for a spin. Yes, that roaring engine is music to the ears, and this car is certainly fun to drive. But the real beauty of this Ferrari is its handsome return on investment. This 2001 Ferrari 550 Maranello sold for around 75000 two years ago. Now it fetches more than 250000 That's an over 330% return. And it's just one example of how the collectible car market has been leaving conventional and other alternative investments in the dust. The collectible car market is the highest that it's been in the past 20 years. Uh, certain cars have appreciated over 300% since 2012. Driving home the point, car insurance company Haggerty's Ferrari Index, which averages the values of 13 of the most sought-after Ferraris of the 1950s to 70s. Over the past four years, prices have accelerated 224 percent. And it's not just Ferraris with ferocious returns. The index that averages the values of 21 German-made cars from BMW to Porsche has soared 187 percent from 2011. So what's fueling this? People are looking at collector cars as a alternative asset class um, that have never been looked at before, uh, sort of like rolling art and these cars uh, are appreciating at higher returns than the investment accounts. Some of the cars that we have in our inventory, you know, we have 10 to 15 customers for, and uh, there's more demand than supply. So what would you say makes a car collectible? How do you know you're going to have a real winner on your hands? Low production, originality, and consumer demand. For example, this is a 1989 Porsche 911 Silver Anniversary Edition car. They made less than 250 of them all in silver and black. It is a car that's appreciated 30% over the last three years. And turns out, you don't have to be a television celebrity like avid car collectors Jay Leno or Jerry Seinfeld to get in on the action. I think that the entry point for most consumers is 25,000 and up. Um, some of the cars that are really climbing in value are triple digit cars such as the uh, collectible Ferraris and uh, some of the rare Porsches. But the, I would say that the average uh, entry point is twenty-five to 30000 During the recession, the collectible car market remained relatively stable, while other investments were driving off the cliff. Now there are revved up returns across a wide range, from British post-war to Italian 1960s models to good old American muscle cars. But what is fueling the demand, and how long before it hits the brakes? I think that the collector car market is going to be a bubble, but I think that the limited run Ferraris, Porsches, Lamborghinis, uh, German, Italian cars that were limited produced uh, would have a very high collectability to them and will continue to appreciate over time. But the run of the mills, 60s, 70s American cars, I think will peak out in the next year or two. But on the upside, unlike stocks or bonds, even if this investment plummets, well, there's still lots to enjoy. Michelle McCory, CCTV.